Hi guys, so today I just wanted to quick show you how to make a few clickable images that you can use on Craigslist for your ads. And I use Photo Bucket to do mine. And this is a free website that you can use to host your images. You just go to photobucket.com and you can sign up um, with your email or you can also um, use Facebook to do that. And it's up to you. So when you get on Photo Bucket, you just click this button that says Upload, and you'll find images on your computer that you want to place in your ads. So you see here, like I save um, pictures, um, capture pages, and things like that that I use for my ads on Craigslist. So what I would do is just come over here and pick a picture that I would want to use in my ad. And it gets uploaded within a few seconds. Click on the picture and it will generate a code for you to use on Craigslist. So you're going to want to use the HTML code. So you left click and copy that. And then what I do is I Paste that onto a word pad. And you have to come here between this exclamation or what do you call those? <laughs> oh, here it is right here. Take this out. In between these quotations, erase all these words. And in between the two quotations is where you will put your link where you want it to go. So I always do a h a http dot dot slash slash and then whatever your link is. And that should be ready to place inside of your Craigslist ad. Now, you just copy this. And I will show you what it will look like. I don't know if this ad will actually stick if I place it on Craigslist, but I just want to show you how to do the HTML. Um, let's see. I'm going to do a service offered. My internet has been acting up today, so hopefully it doesn't go out on us. Nope. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Try this again. Okay, so I'm going to try again and see if I can get um, this ad posted on here. If I can't, I may not be able to show this part today. There we go. So paste. Notice I haven't logged into my Craigslist account. Whenever I place ads, I don't log into my account until after. I have already put all my information in here. Otherwise, Craigslist will want to verify your phone number. Now, I've already placed ads on this account today, so I probably can't get any more to stick. Um, but if I do, it'll be a bonus. <laughs> Let's see, so 
this information is missing. Okay. Don't add any images because we have an image. So this is what my ad looks like. And when you click on this box, like you, the person wants to enter their email, if my internet is working, it will take me to the actual page to enter your email. And there you go. So now they can enter their email on this page. And you just publish your ad and supposedly it will be live later, but we'll see. <laughs> but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it takes two hours before your ads are actually show on Craigslist, so give it some time before you know you automatically decide that it's been ghosted because it may not have been. I have been having ads take two hours to post on Craigslist. I have another pad here somewhere. This is another way to make a clickable ad without actually using a picture. You can type out your ad, highlight or click here, you know, turn the, the letters blue, and then I use my Jing to capture the picture. And you can download Jing online for free. It's called Jing.com. And you can take a picture of just about anything online with this. So now Craigslist can't read this ad because it's a picture. So I would save this to my computer. And then I am going to upload it to my four bucket. Usually whenever you do Jing, your picture that you just did should be the first one in, in the box here. That's the easiest way uh, to find it. So here's my picture, and it looks like a word. So people won't um, flag it on Craigslist because it looks spammy. Because here it just looks like I texted all this in when actually it's a picture. So I have my code here and then you just take out text <coughs> In case you didn't notice, I don't know how to type. <laughs> um, put your link in there. Copy.
Hmm, where do we want to put it? Usually, well, text. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's not a good idea to put photos in um, customer service because Craigslist knows right away that um, it's not an actual job. But if you have a text photo, sometimes you can get away with it because people won't realize that you are offering an online business. How about we try this? probably should have tried a different city because sometimes they um, won't let you post um, in the same city more than once in a day. And I always try to change everything up. My compensation, always a different title. Um, don't post in the same category on the same day. I always switch it up a little bit, otherwise you'll definitely get your ads ghosted. So see it says click here and it looks like this is a link when actually the whole picture is clickable. And then I always just check to make sure that my link is working properly, which it may or may not be because my internet is giving me problems. So I'm sure that um, I entered the link correctly. It's just that my internet is not recognizing it right now. So then I just, um, I'll save this on a notepad later, but I always go back and check these um, once I'm logged out of my account to see if they actually stuck or not. So here's what my ad will look like. And hopefully my links will be working. <clears throat> so that is how you make clickable images for uh, Craigslist using photo bucket and then I also have another way that I use let me see if I can find um, for my text messages if you don't want to use an image but I do I would take this and copy all these words and paste those in and then to make this to apply click here clickable you would use this code so you would write to apply make sure there's no space a href equals and then you put your link in space click here and this code will look like this after you paste it in Craigslist. So rather than posting your um, affiliate link or website link, which Craigslist will look at that sometimes and block your ad and ghost it, it will just say apply click here and then they can click on this and it will go to your link just um, the same way as the picture ad did. And you would probably do that if you're posting in customer service because in customer service, like I said, I didn't really want to use a picture ad. I would use this as text instead of using a picture. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave those below. And um, hopefully the problems with the internet um, didn't interfere with you learning from this today. <laughs> so I hope you all have a good day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.